Stay tuned till the end because the build does not go as planned. All right, for graphics cards, I've got four of these 3060 Ti's for the win three EVGA. These are all Samsung, great cards. One MSI 3060, it's Hynix, but it doesn't really matter too much on the 3060s from what I've found. A normal EVGA two fan 3060 Ti and a Asus Tough 3070 Samsung as well. So. With all these cards being Samsung, it's gonna be able to mine Compow very well. All right, for the power supplies, we've got a cheap generic Amazon 500 watt bronze PSU. This is an Aries game. This is mainly to power your motherboard as well as your SSD. I like to chain the Molex cable to my two HP 750 watt power supplies. That way, I've got one switch right here that turns on all three power supplies. Now let's move on to the frame and the motherboard. This is where you can save the big bucks if you put in a little extra work. Frame made out of wood, $12 plus a couple brad nails. Um, motherboard, I recommend if you wanna build the cheapest rig possible to look on Facebook Marketplace and find like a Dell Optiplex, an old PC that someone is selling. That shouldn't be more than 50 bucks, 25 bucks and you can take the motherboard out of that case and it's gonna give you the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, SSD, just a cheap $15, 120 gigabyte guy off of Amazon. Put a link down below for these. And the fans, just something I had uh, at home already. I zip tie all the fans together so I have an array of five and then I just screw them straight into the wood. The last thing I wanted to mention though is a PCI splitter card. You definitely need one of these if you're going the Dell Optiplex route because the Optiplexes are gonna have one main PCIe slot and I think two small ones. So if you plug this into the main slot, that's gonna give you the capability to run six GPUs. So let's get into actually starting to build this thing.
All right, let's see if she turns on. Like I said, this one switch should turn on both. PSUs, they're on. 3070 is not spinning, but everything else is. Let's look into that. This 3070 did not register when the rig turned on, so I'm just gonna unplug everything, make sure all the connections are good. I'm also gonna make sure that all the cords are going to the same power supply. If this doesn't work when I plug it back in, I'll likely switch the riser out. You know what they say, it's not working, unplug it, plug it back in. That's what we say in IT world and it's generally pretty foolproof. All right. It's not spinning. I think that might be the issue. I'm not getting a connection on that ground, so it's not powering up. I'm gonna switch that cable out, see what happens. All right, on the truth. Let's go. All right, everything's spinning. Damn, I can't believe I found that, honestly. Okay. Catch you all in Hive OS. You can see the rig booted up just fine after those fixes for the 3070. It's got seven cards. We're mining AIPG on the Kapow algorithm, 203 mega hash. This is my old gaming motherboard, so I'm also mining uh, with the CPU, mining Zephyr. If this is your first time checking out the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm very new, but I've got a lot more videos coming out on budget-oriented home crypto mining. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.